Hi Cancer, it's L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, Cancer, let's get into this. Um, so, we've got your person's energy here. We have your energy here. Looks like you guys are not you know, at a meeting of the minds here. Um, your person could be focused on controlling themselves, con learning control of their emotions. They have some big goal that they, in mind that they want to um, accomplish. This, your person is working on themselves and some personal victory. Um, and then they see the opportunity here, Ace of Tentacles, to possibly come back toward you or to start something new better something um, that's going to take hard work and time and it needs to be slow moving and you you feel that way too here with your energy with the knight of pentacles um, you feel like it's going to take time in order for you guys to actually have a solid relationship and your person is working on you know, more more so controlling their emotions, their outbursts, maybe um, having more tact, uh, understanding that everything is not so final. Uh, this person also could be definitely working on a big goal for themselves. They're trying to work on being more compassionate or having more compassion in their life more compassion in their speech you person could talk really harshly uh with this knight of swords here your person could say things to you or have said things yeah they said things to you without tact without any not thinking of the repercussions of their words or how someone could perceive their communication your person just makes big, grand moves. They they fly off the cuff. They are, are off the whim. Something about how they think and they're very intelligent. They're always up for debate. They could possibly win it with this Knight of Swords, but what they aren't winning is right now in your heart. Um, and you guys may be separated. So this person is trying to learn more control. They're also trying to have some all, their own personal victory in their life. What is going on in their life may be spilling over into their, their relationship and their emotional state. They may not, so there's a direct correlation. You know, if one aspect of their life is a little fuzzy, it's, it's a possibility that that can spill over into another aspect and this person is having that happen without saying it to you um, and actually talking about it it's playing out in their emotions in their actions uh, in their words that something is off or something's being something that is off or is off-putting to them to where they are impulsive in their words or their actions or this is you but this is on your person's side though your person also could want forgiveness and they want you to treat them with a level of compassion you could be dealing with the leo uh, you could be dealing with another cancer like yourself or uh capricorn virgo taurus anybody your person is dealing with personal stuff Trying to make themselves the best representation of themselves possibly for you so the opportunity comes for you guys to come back together they can take the opportunity and actually grow it they can nurture it they'll be in a better capacity to do that either financially mentally emotionally or all you cancer on the other hand your mind is set on it may look like you're you're in so many different avenues but that is a cardinal sign they can do so many different things but they know exactly where they want to be where what the end result is what the end game is here and they're unmovable in that 
aspect uh, sometimes, most times. It seems that if you really want to have a solid relationship with this person, you want to offer them commitment, duty, hard work, effort, um, stability, and you know that that would be getting out of your comfort zone. You know that that would be a big life changing move, a life alteration for you. So you're taking your time with it. But you you see your person as the queen of wands, very intuitive, sexy, outgoing, charismatic, could be a business owner, gets a lot of attention. The both of you can be in that capacity. But both of you have withdrawn from the connection to kind of make sense of it, to bring some logic and some rationale back into this relationship. Um, you're trying to refrain from the larger talks or the, the big talk. The communication is minimal or for some of you, not at all because you're trying to refrain from the petty arguments and the drama. But it looks like you guys could have the opportunity yet, yeah, wow, to reconcile the two of cups here. This specifically, of course, it talks about falling in love. It's mutually beneficial. It's the exchange, the exchange of love. Here's my cup, there's, you know, um, and you give me yours. But this talks about forgiveness too. It talks about mending um, a severed relationship or, or trying to mend severed ties. It talks about coming back together. It says that it's best for us to be together than apart at this time. Um, and it could very well be because the Ten of Cups, the both of you make each other very, very happy. In the stage with the Ten of Cups, is not exactly real. It's emotional. It's whimsical, so it can come and go, right? It's not the Ten of Pentacles, but with the Ten of Cups, it says that the capacity for you guys to have absolute happiness is there. The stage is set. It's just about you guys performing on that stage of life and making happiness, making longevity happen between the two of you. That's what the Ten of Cups says. Um, you guys could come back together and things could go really well, really fast. You're going to be two very independent people coming together and trying to merge your life. And you'll go through the, you know, the process of trying to, um, trying to make two independent lives come together. Be cautious of interference, outside interference. It's something springing up from the past. Whomever it springs up with, or if there is discord between the two of you because of outside <coughs> interference, make sure that uh, you, you sever that tie immediately. And it could be a karmic tie. So, Cancer, it looks like right now you're on your own quest uh, right now and your person is on their own quest. There's opportunity for you guys to come back together, but just not right now. Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can pay for your question or receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Cancer, and many blessings.